It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joe and we're here today for part two of the quest to silver and Right now we're pretty close. We're about 1700 ooh, bleh, 14, 1476 we are just about uh, a little quick math here about 34 PvP points away from reaching that silver league status. So let's go ahead and check out how we did in the defense log here. So we ended up winning 13 and losing four. So I can't complain with those results right there. I think those are pretty darn good. We got attacked by level 29 and 43. So these could be pretty tough to revenge, but you know, we're going to give them a shot. See how we do. Let's go ahead and revenge the first person right here. I'm going to borrow all this stuff. I'm happy with it. And here we go. So... We don't need too much more, and I think we're going to be able to hit that Silver League in this episode. Never been up to the Silver League, I'm going to be honest. I've never pushed that far up into PvP, so it's going to be a definite first for me. Right now, what do we have, or what are we going to be looking at here? we got some Titans, we got some Harbingers, we got Dr. Zombwitz, and Reanimators, or possibly Infectors. So, <clears throat> both of our objectives here, the two waypoints, are pretty evenly spaced out here. Now, for this first one, I'm just going to throw a machine gunner and a sharpshooter. Okay, we don't have any runners, so we're not going to have to worry about that too much. And a dead shot. Now, my reasoning here is the dead shot's going to take out any of those spitters. The sharpshooter's going to take out those titans and things like that. And once that machine gunner get once the machine gunner gets warms up, it is pretty much just game over. Now, since there's no runners, I'm not going to be any, really worried about anything like that. See, the harbingers are over here, so I'm not going to be worried anything about close range. The Machine gunners have plenty of time to take them out. Let me go ahead and throw down a machine gunner back here. <clears throat> That's going to be a pretty risky spot, but I'm feeling pretty confident with it. I'm going to go ahead and throw five of these level 30 scatter shots right here. They're just going to be pretty much a fortress, a wall of terror for these guys. They're not going to be able to get past it, I don't think. And they're going to be taking out a lot of those guys pretty quick. And I think we should be pretty locked down. So let's go ahead and start these waves, get them going. Let's see how we go, guys. So I'm feeling pretty happy with this. So right off the bat here, as you can see, those scatter shots are just not even letting those drones get out of the spawn right here. Now, when we do see that Titan come out, the sharpshooter quickly picks him off. And that plan pretty much just goes on perfectly. <clears throat> so as you can see, if you're going against any brutes, big guys like that, it's really good to have a sharpshooter, a sniper of some sort, pretty highly leveled up. Because that way you're going to easily be able to take them out quickly and they're not going to be able to move too far. And it's just not going to slow you down. They're not... Because usually those guys used to get your zombies as close as possible, get them right up on those guys, and pretty much just cause problems. Let those drones surround you, overwhelm you, and just pretty much game over. Let's go ahead and use a flare here and kind of send everybody back a little bit. Stimp up these guys back here so we can take out Shock Thor Zombwitz, Dr. Zombwitz. Looks like we managed to take out everyone over there. It's got a couple drones left here, and we'll be good to go. Guys, I just want to let you know as well. I'm still kind of getting, I'm still kind of recovering from the concussion. So my knowledge of this game, kind of at the low point right now, just because I'm kind of having to recoup. My brain kind of got fried after that concussion and everything. So everything's still going to kind of come back. So if you hear me stutter or anything like that, forget any words, forget any of these characters, things like that. Just bear with me because in these next couple of episodes, I'm going to kind of be recouping everything, getting it all back. I'm going to start playing more, getting back into the game. Just kind of have to let it come back really quick. <clears throat> But we'll get there, guys, in the next couple episodes. But, you know, I'm excited to play. I'm still winning. We're still getting a couple wins here and there, so I'm happy with that. But let's go ahead and continue here. We got, I don't even know, how many PvP points did we get there? I don't even see. What are we at now? 1487. We got about, I want to say 14, maybe. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and, okay, this guy, we could either epically win this one or lose it. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to need full hands on deck here. We're going to have to go with that machine gunner, no doubt. And let's go ahead and fight here. Whew, this is going to be intense. Oh, those are some high-level guys. But we got some pretty high-level guys, too. So I'm not too, too, too worried. All right, so what do we have here? Daredevils. All right. So let me go ahead and throw these guys back here. I'm going to throw down one of my machine gunners. I'm going to throw down one sharpshooter to take out some of these guys. Let's run a dead shot, too. And then... What do we have over here? Something similarly. Let's go ahead and throw, it, throw down two scatter shots to kind of handle some of those drones, some of those guys. So this is a pretty good setup now. 
Sharpshooter, Deadshot, going to help pick off some of those mutated zombies and the brutes and things like that. Machine Gunner's going to have plenty of time because he's sitting in the back here. He's going to have plenty of time to warm up. Scatter shots up front, taking out drones, trying to take out those daredevils. We're going to be pretty set there. Now, Machine Gunner, Sniper, Deadshot. This, right here, we're going to be focusing on this spawn point there, the point where those zombies are going to be coming out. I'm going to put down... Okay, over here, this is where I'm going to be putting down Destructor with several of my handy dandy scatter shots machine gunners can be placed right back there i'm going to go ahead and move that over there so it's in better position and just to have a little bit of extra support i'm going to throw in an extra commando there so that's pretty much my close up point and my machine gunner chilling in the back and just in case anybody tries to get too close i'm gonna have two commandos here let's go ahead and push ah, let's just leave them there so that's pretty much our setup and hopefully we'll see how we do i'm feeling pretty confident i did not even mean to put down that commando but it's there now so it's got to roll with it so right now we have two spawn points coming out right now we have these two right here let's go ahead and focus in on this one we got a daredevil coming out of the shoot right here hopefully we can pick that off dead shot sniper anything commandos are able to keep them off just fine no worries at all it's going to be the big test are going to be coming to okay we got some defiles and brutes here these goliaths have a ton of health now this is really one of the true challenges going to come because hopefully we can get these sharpshooters and dead shots involved a little bit because they're going to help me cause the most damage to these guys. Let me go and stem these up a little bit to get these guys going. And just got a couple more drones to drop and we'll be good to go. I'm feeling pretty confident in this raid. I've got to admit, feeling pretty good. We're cruising. We're taking these guys out. No problem. Here come the Goliaths. I'm going to go ahead and flare them away just a little bit to delay them just a bit. And we managed to do that just fine. And these guys are just cruising. Let me go ahead and stem up this group because we've got the Goliath coming down the chute here. And everybody's dropped out that last couple drones. We ended up beating this handily. 228 trophies plus our time bonus. I'm feeling it's going to be a whopping 60. There it is. That's going to be 288 out of 150. We are set. We are 8th place in the Bronze League right now. We got plus 19. We killed them. We whooped them. We did so good on that one. I'm very happy with that attack. Guys, that was a clutch. I've got to say. <clears throat> They're almost level 52. All right, PvP. So I think we revenged everybody that we're going to revenge. Just go ahead and fight and go into the normal rounds here. Same. We're going to borrow that from Beast Kid, that level 11 firefighter. And let's fight. Abandoned ship, level 30, Benny. Hmm. He's got an interesting squad, but I think we'll be able to handle him pretty well. Not too bad. Interesting. I don't really like this. Hmm. I'm not a fan. I'm not the biggest fan of this layout with these guys, with the location of this stuff. But we're going to deal with it. <clears throat> hmm. Structure's going to go up here because we're pretty close to the objective. Ooh, I didn't see this. All right, we're good, actually. I was about to say, that was a pretty tough layout we had. Let's put it on the machine gunner there. Sharpshooter. Dead shot. Scatter shot. Destructor. They get close, they get close. Over here, we have some interesting stuff. Over here, you know what? Let's focus in on... I'm going to throw down... This is where I'm going to put my dead shot, and I'm going to have a lot of close range guys here. Two commandos, three scatter shots, move them out just a bit. So that's pretty much our team there. Move the dead shot over there in range. So that'll be a pretty interesting layout there. Now over here for the final area, let me go ahead and throw down my last machine gunner. My sharpshooter, two commandos, and we're throwing down one mercenary. So as you can see, I'm actually working on upgrading my scatter shots a lot, trying to kind of replace my mercenary. My, my mercenary is going to kind of set down to my second team as I finish upgrading a lot of these guys because I'm still kind of working on upgrading. I just kind of feel like I'm fell behind a little bit on that. But it's a work in progress. So here we go. Doing very, very, very well. This close range area right here is pretty much kicking, but they're just not able to get by. Those scatter shots and commandos are just too overpowering. Now, it looks like we did lose one person over here due to Dr. Zombowitz, but we are just handling that pretty well. That Harbinger ended up taking out most of those guys for me. Not going to complain with that. Once we get that tightened out, I'm going to go ahead and stim my guys, flare them away, give my machine gun a little extra time, take them out. No problems at all. Looks like we're going to get a couple interesting groups here. I can see pretty close range. Very good. Dead shots back there taking out the spitter and defiler for me. And looks like we just got a couple drones and we'll be good to go. Dropped them 223 plus that 60 time bonus. I'm expecting there it is 283 cups or trophies or whatever you want to call them. Swag, we got plus nine. We're at 1517. I believe that's going to put us into the Silver League PvP. Where are you? Come on. 
Oh my gosh. We got to keep pushing, guys. We got to keep pushing to 1,645. Oh my gosh. Well, with that being said, we are in seventh place. So we're going to have to keep pushing. Hopefully our team can kind of get some points for us. This might be a longer series than I thought. But we're going to keep throwing in some extra stuff in between. Let's go keep fighting. <clears throat> we're at 10 minutes right now. Hmm. You know what? We're going to keep making these extra long. We're going to attack again. Fight. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Got to keep getting tons of points here. These guys aren't too impossible because my team's pretty set. But once we get to the Silver League, I think we'll start hitting some pretty interesting challenges. <clears throat> All right, this is actually going to be an interesting fight right here. So what we're going to be seeing here, we only have two spawn points, but they are pretty oddly placed. So right here, I'm going to throw down a Destructor. He's going to be my melee defense right there. Now, I'm going to throw down the Sharpshooter, the Deadshot, and a Machine Gunner back here. Those guys are going to be chilling in the back. I'm going to use two of my Mercs here. They are going to be used for that close range defense. And if we can just get, get these guys warmed up in the back here, we'll be pretty set on that end of the side. We're going to throw in five scatter shots. They're just going to be going off over there. Machine gunner is going to be chilling right about there <clears throat> with a scatter shot. Not a dead shot and a sharpshooter. So we got that set up right there. Feeling pretty confident with that. So this pretty much is to hold off those drones as long as possible. Get the machine gunner warmed up. I'm not even sure we're going to need that 100%. But just in case, we'll have that ready. Now over here, I'm going to pretty much be overwhelming these lower health units. Such as the assassins, the drones, the infectors, those biohazards. We're going to be taking all those out pretty handily with those scatter shots. And the machine gunner, dead shot, sharpshooter. Just there for some extra support. Taking out those brutes or goliaths. Things like that. So let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Get through a couple more attacks in. Possibly get more and more as we hope for. So focusing in on this first pad over here. We're going to be having some assassins and goliaths. So these snipers are kind of working on taking out those mutated goliaths right there. Now as you can see those scatter shots are taking out these drones. No problem at all. Up close here. Looks like we got some pretty. We're doing pretty fine over here. <clears throat> those mercs and destructor are handling all those drones perfectly fine. Final wave is coming in on this far side. We're going to have another one coming in here as well. Let's go ahead and slow this one down a little bit. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and send it. <clears throat> so I can see a couple drones coming out here and there. But those mercs are easily taking those, those guys out pretty quickly. It looks like we're going to have a defiler popping out just in a moment there. As you can see, Deadshot picks them off just as planned. And we clearly win that one. Plus our 60 time bonus question mark, maybe 60. That puts us at 265 cups. And how much will we get? Plus seven. That's not too much, but got to roll with it. Got to roll with it. So continue. PvP. PvP arena. Fight. We're just going to have to roll with that. We're going to borrow that unit. Accept. Fight. We're off to the races here. Who are we going to get matched up? Level 50, The Walking Dead. So this guy is actually in front of me right now. He is about, I want to say fourth place, maybe third. I'm not sure, but he was pretty high up if you did see that. Interesting. So this is actually a pretty nice straightaway we have here. What I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to have Destructor up here, two dead, one dead shot, a sharpshooter, and my machine gunner combo as usual in the back here. Let's go ahead and move them just a little bit behind this wall there. I like it. So I'm going to have two scatter shots, two commandos, up close, taking out drones, things like that. Once we get that machine gunner warmed up, we will be in the black. So I'm actually move them back just a little bit, get them just behind this wall there, and we'll be pretty set. I'm gonna let that this one pad kind of flow into that area as well. Now we have one more pad to defend, which is gonna be right over here, and I'm not too worried about this one at all. <clears throat> Looks like we're gonna have a couple guys trying to fly up the gut here, but with what I'm seeing, I'm feeling pretty good with it. Storage is almost full. This is gonna be our last attack for this episode, guys. Let's go ahead and start these waves and get it going because I don't want to run out of storage again. Everybody's coming out here. Drones galore. Oh, my lord. All right. So, these guys are pretty strong, I've got to say. But I think we're going to be able to take out these guys over here. Managed to take out all those guys. But a defiler picked off one of my sharpshooters, which is actually a huge bummer. So, right up here, this is pretty close and parcel. Let me go ahead and flare them away. Stim them up. We ended up to drop that Titan. Just got a couple more drones. Got an assassin. Pretty crazy stuff here. Looks like we just got some drones here. We're going to have some behemoths coming up and some titans. That's going to be pretty tough on that end. However, this is going to be a pretty intense area right here. Let me go ahead and stim up my guys. we got to take out that titan. The behemoth is next. People dropping like flies. Molotov cocktails. Take out that last drone there. Pull out the win against the Walking Dead. A level 50 player there. 
easily defeated. Plus 60 time bonus, which is at 279. What is our prize? 10 PvP points. I'll take it. Drop that guy down to... Th oh, he's only 16th place. Never mind. Take that bet. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next PvP.